All right, then we got two questions from yesterday. Well, actually, this is, these are just questions that have come in from our clone the last 24 hours. And as you may or may not know, we're training our clone all the time, and, it, and it's really good at answering questions. So here's one that came in that apparently the clone, clone didn't have an answer for. So the clone will now have an answer because we're going to upload this video after we're done. With respect to the certification airmen, what is a category of aircraft? This, I'm sure this is in hogs, so why the clone had trouble with that, I don't know. But we're going to clear this up for you because when you go to take a check ride, they're going to ask you about category and class of aircraft. You have to know this. So if you don't and you're getting ready for a check ride, look this up, review it. My reference is the private panel, private panel, private pilot manual that I really, really like using as a reference point. And your categories are airplane, rotorcraft, powered lift, glider, and lighter than air. So under the airplane section, you have single engine land, multi-engine C, multi-engine land, single engine C. So those are all classes of aircraft under airplane. Under rotorcraft, you have gyroplane and helicopter. Under powered lift, you can see they are showing like what looks like kind of an osprey or whatever. That's the one that lifts up like a helicopter then flies like an airplane. Glider, pretty self-explanatory what a glider is. And then lighter than air is either an airship or a balloon. You have to understand which air or the aircraft you're flying or you want a rating for, which category is it? Which classes is it? So that's a good resource right there, the private pilot manual or any other resource that you want to use, but you have to understand category and class. And I know on a recent check ride, somebody struggled somewhere and the examiner made the comment, well, if you don't understand category and class, you won't understand right away rules and that's dangerous. Therefore, you don't deserve a license, right? So category and class, super important. Categories, airplane, single engine land, multi-engine C, multi-engine land, single engine C. Those are the classes under the category airplane. Rotorcraft, gyroplane, helicopter. You got your powered lift, your glider, and lighter than air. And then the other question that came into our clone that the clone didn't have an answer for. When would a pilot be required to submit a detailed report of an emergency which caused the pilot to deviate from ATC clearance? We're almost in 2025. I'm still going to use my 2025 or 2024 far aim because I haven't got the new one yet. Obtaining deviation authority to perform an emergency operation. The certificate holder shall provide documentation describing the nature of the emergency to the responsible flight standards office within 24 hours after completing the operation. So another one, tip I want to give you, you must understand emergencies, incidents, and accidents, when to report them and how to report them. So that's 49 CFR NTSB 830. I can't talk today. NTSB 830 accident reporting. Right there's the page in the far end that helps you quickly go navigate to any of this stuff. So anytime you're going to look something up, it's either part 43 maintenance, part 61 is how you get your license, part 91 is how you lose your license, Part 67 is medical certificates, and then NTSB 830 is this one down here. I make people highlight those because if you ask, if you get asked a question during a check ride, most likely it's going to come from one of those sections. And I learned this little trick from Tim Tucker way back when I did my CFI, and Tim told two of us, he goes, guys, instructors aren't always showing their students the far aim and explaining to them how to look things up. Make sure you point out those. To literally take your marker and do this. And if they go to look something up, it's probably going to be underneath one of those. Could be somewhere else, but more than likely going to come from one of those sections. And our clone is located at askhogs.com. You can go below and click on the link to go check it out. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can ask training related questions, flight and ground. 14 years of my contents loaded in this thing. Blogs, podcasts, videos, paid content, free content. There's over 6 million words piped into my clone. It's amazing. Go down below, askhogs.com. The clone is free to everyone, and the clone is also inside of our hog site on every video, every page. So you can be in viewing videos, and you can always ask the clone a question while you're at it, so you can get an immediate answer. First right here is free, free PDF. 
Private Pilot 101 Helicopter Training Blueprint. That's why we created this. And let me cover what's in the first chapter. Since you ask and you're at the beginning, that's why we created this. The first chapter are questions that we've, we took like the top 10 questions that we get all the time, like is learning how to fly a helicopter difficult? How long will it take to become a private pilot? How much will it cost to become a private pilot? What is the best approach to selecting a flight school? What are the key differences between helicopters and fixed wing aircraft? How many tests will I have to take? How many hours for solo on the license? Kenny's recommended training supplies. So this is absolutely 100% free. You can go down below, there's a link down below, or you can type in your browser, privateblueprint.com, and you can download immediately after you sign up. You'll sign up, enter your name and email, and the next page will show you download your book here. That's where you should start, because again, it's free. Or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel, and you'll get a notification when the new video comes out for either the live or the premiere, whichever way we do it. And then we want to also bring up, we are updating, starting to update our R22 specific course behind us. Of course, behind us. Course using the helicopter behind us. Lindsay's in charge of getting in there and updating some images in the R22 site uh, section of HOGS. We have R22 specific section and an R44 specific section that come with any of our memberships. So you don't have to buy that specifically. We use Private Pilot, for example, monthly membership. It has both the R22 and R44 sections in there. And since we have an R22 available for, to us and an R44 available to us, we thought, why not get the content updated in those courses with some fresh videos, fresh images? And also want to mention, hogspaysme.com. This is passive income. You want to earn some money, particularly if you're a flight instructor. Anybody can use the Hogs affiliate link. You go to hogspayme.com. That link is down below. You'll sign up for it. It'll give you access to a dashboard inside that you'll see your link and a link to share with others. So when they sign up, you receive 50% off our online memberships. Private pilot, commercial pilot, instrument pilot, certified flight instructor and or private or professional pilot, that's 2,800 bucks. If you share your link with one of your students and they buy ProPilot, it's a lifetime membership for all courses, you will get $1,400 shipped to your PayPal account after the 30 days. So we have a few spots left for the spring of 2025. So you gotta get in now if you want one of these because as course, as we're moving into spring, People are talking, they're calling. So we've got like three spots left for the spring. If you want to get in, we're going to put a link down below this video. We've got a short questionnaire to see if you qualify for the final approach course. Go through that at the link below, answer the question. And we'll get back to you if you look like you're a good fit or we're a good fit to get you finished up. We got three spots basically for the spring so we can make you number 20, number 21, and number 22 on the Hogs Wall of Fame. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the Hogs no-go and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com